to receive those higher energies and higher knowledge and higher information from source, we have to also grow intellectually. Mercury, Mercury, Mercury. We have the sun, which is our willpower, which is how we communicate. It's how we express what we're thinking, how we express, how we share, right? Because it's the sun and Gemini is all about talking and sharing and communicating. How we share, maybe teach our new skill, okay? The sun in Gemini, the moon in Gemini. The moon is mother energy. Remember, the sun is masculine energy. The moon is feminine energy. It's mother energy. It's nurturing. It's my emotions. It's what I need. So there's thoughts. There's new skills. There's communications, possibly siblings, right? Again, we have to learn all the keywords because of free will. This energy a lot of different ways this can look in your specific life. And that is the beauty of this and the beauty of knowing the main keywords. This eclipse is going to be all about new, 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 because it is a North Node eclipse. It's a solar North Node eclipse. The solar eclipses typically bring in something new. A lot of astrologers view it as a gift in your life, like you're receiving something. It's a new beginning. So you want to look in your chart. You're looking for the degrees, folks. 19 degrees, 47 minutes. What you also see here is that Mercury is conjunct this, and it's retrograding. So keep that in mind. There may be a new beginning. Okay, but because Mercury is retrograding, that new beginning, I'm not going to call it a false start. It's not necessarily a false start. It just means that we're rethinking something. We're redoing something. We're reviewing something. We're either going over paperwork, a new skill. We're getting a, a chance to, to say, okay, now's my time to demonstrate. And as I'm demonstrating, I realize I need a little bit more practice. I need to read the book again. I need to pull out the manual. So also right? be cognizant that because this is social media and because it's Mercury, very powerful here, because Mercury rules Gemini, this is devices, digital devices. So there might be some wacky stuff going on. So if you're a YouTuber or anybody else who creates using whether you're recording, whether you're blogging or vlogging, uh, you might be someone who does the audio books or something, you know, where you create audio recordings. This would be something you would want to know in advance so that you can have plenty of content created ahead of time. I'm trying to record something and lo and behold, I get done and the dang thing never recorded or stuff just somehow disappears. It gets lost into that digital world. Expect a lot of digital hiccups, electrical and devices, okay? Device hiccups, absolutely, you can expect that. Like if you send an email, make sure you're reading it before you hit that send button. You're texting, make sure you're reading it again and again before you hit the send or the share button, folks. Right. This, now we're gonna be really emotional about our feelings at the time because we've got Venus in Cancer. Cancer is home and family and emotions. You know, and Venus is just all about, I wanna feel good. I want to be surrounded. I want to nurture myself with the things that show myself love to me. This is a really a strong energy for a loving mom. Uh, this is a strong, you know, the mother wound may come up for some individuals, depending upon where this is for you in your chart. Venus at nine degrees and 38 minutes. So you want to, you want to see for yourself in your chart. Now we're going to take a peek and see what else is happening at this time, right? What do you, you see Mars, you see Mars at 29 degrees and 18 minutes in the sign of cancer. So Mars being at 29 degrees and 18 minutes of cancer. Yes, Mars is at a critical degree. And so that's always interesting. We always pay attention, extra attention to Mars when it's hits a critical degree. And I think it's fascinating. Mars at a critical degree in cancer. Mars is our body, right? Literally our body, our actions with our body. But this is the public. It's also family and home and mom, okay? Mothering energy, my ability to be a mother. And I keep saying the wound, it's emphasized again, because for some individuals, this may show up like that in their life. Uh, whenever we talk about the body, this is your ability to have a baby, right? Because it's cancer energy. Um, and then we have Venus there, right? Venus also in the sign of cancer. There's a big emphasis on that. Yeah, these sisters are able to really communicate pretty well together because we've got Mercury the sign that it rules. Very, very powerful here. Doing a retrograde. So there's a lot of internalized thinking because that's what retrogrades do. 
Our thoughts become very internal. And this may not be that fun for those who have strong Virgo energy or Mercury's in their chart. Brain doesn't want to turn off, right? And that's kind of what I just said. You're internalizing a lot of things. You're rethinking something. Instead of two times, you're rethinking it like a hundred times. And it's like, okay, enough already. That's Mercury retrograde, definitely in Gemini energy. A lot of thinking, a lot of talking. It's Mars. We want to see if Mars is going to be squaring anything. Um, Mars, critical degree, Capricorn energy. So that means that at the beginning of June, being in Cancer, that means Mars would have been opposing Pluto. Again, that's my body, my power, my freedom. You know, Mars is so assertive. It's very physical and active. And this can be simply the emotion. So we have to kind of keep a cap on that and be aware of that, kind of keep a leash on it, so to speak. And so when it opposes Pluto, this would have been at least a week in advance, the very beginning of June. Yeah, by June 3rd, we can feel the opposition. Pluto is intense, intense power, intense from big businesses, from government, any, any long-standing structure of society, Capricorn. And so it's intense, it's power, it's also your soul's power. So if you can find out where that 26 degrees of Capricorn, I should say, in your chart, you know where this is and what area, what house number of your life. Okay. And so when we talk about that, it's, this is home and this is work, home and work, right? Family work. Okay. This is, this is my emotions, my emotional security, cause it's cancer, my emotional security about my body and my body's actions. And then this is my goals, my ambitions, my big goals, my big ambitions, my power. And this is work, your, your professional goals, your professional ambitions. And so there's like a tug of war because they're going to be opposing That's each other. The eclipse, so get your chart, find out where 1947 is. 19 degrees, 47 minutes. Okay. We're going to give a two degree orb. So that means we're going from like 17, because this is technically 20 degrees, folks. 1947 is 20 degrees. Just like this is technically 21 because it's 20 degrees and 41 minutes. So we're going to give an orb starting at 18 degrees. Okay. So we'll say 18, 19, 20, 21 degrees, 22, because we're saying this is 20. Okay. And this is, this will be powerful because Mercury's there and it's internalized. Okay. Internalized thinking. So remember, this is information and communication folks, information. So this is news. That's a big part of this folks is the information that you're getting is it actually legit? Is it solid? Does it, have you been, did you look up the source and the source and the source? Is it fact or is it crap? Weed through the fact or the crap, but they're not the only ones. It's the older generation too. The older generation that's not in school any longer, that didn't grow up with the internet, that didn't grow up with a computer in their hand or even at the desktop. It's the older, older generation where they were taught about how to do research, you know, in the library with books, but now they've got these devices in their hands, these smartphones. Many of them would be assuming that, well, if it's on here, then surely it's credible. That is a big thing here. Mercury is the details. It's the ability to say, wait a minute. So this is here. But does this mean this is true because it's here? Can I find other sources? Is this reliable? Is this credible? The art of making something look credible, sound credible, you know, the manipulation of information. There's deliberate misinformation. And I think this is a huge part of that because it's Mercury in its own sign and it's doing a retrograde. And it's part of the eclipse. Here, this is June 10th, which means we're 10, 11 days into the retrograde. Now, remember, folks, the worst part of the retrograde is typically, is typically those first 10 days because the planet's moving slower at that time. And it, there's a retrograde zone that you got to know about. It began at 24 degrees. So here it's already at 20, okay? And it's going to go back. Guess what it does? It retrogrades all the way back to 16 degrees of Gemini. Now, why is that important? Because it retrogrades over this eclipse point. It'll go back to 16. And then when it gets there, it'll go forward again. Okay. So Mercury will not leave. It's, we call this a shadow zone. The shadow zone is basically the area that it went backwards and that it has to go forward again. So it will not be back to 24 degrees Gemini until July 
seven. The energy of that time is whatever information you get, just know you do not have all the information yet. And you will not really be clear and have all the information until after it's out of its shadow zone, until after July 7th. The eclipse energy about communication and thinking, it's a new beginning. It's time to set your intentions of a new way of being, of new way of being, being open to, to learning more, but the ability to demonstrate what you've learned in those last 10 degrees. Those last 10 degrees and being in Gemini and flexible and it's a new skill, it's not to just simply demonstrate what you've learned, okay? Because the sign of Gemini is the multitasker. So what that means is it's the ability to demonstrate what you've learned while learning something new. Your mind has to be open still. still has to remain flexible. <music>